Kitaum, social worker at the Vasadiwa Mushito Foundation. Here we are again today. We are tackling our interesting topic on stereotypes concerning hair. Hi everyone, my name is Akuna Sibwana. I'm a social worker in the Sadiqa Mustrito Foundation. It's uh, so uh, sorry to say that today we are back and we are here to with our topic again, a, a stereotype on health. Tackling the topic on the health stereotypes, first and foremost, I want to share this to you. I want to disclose this to you that uh, I've been living with HIV for almost 16 years. And then, yo, since our topic is all about the stereotypes, I've endured so much hardship during the time of my diagnosis. Um, I suffered so much of rejection, isolation, you know, whereby you need support structure from your family, from your husband, but instead of supporting you, he'll point fingers at you that you are the one who brought the HIV into the household. And then I don't know why is this happening to us women. In most cases, our spouse, whereas they have to support you, they will point fingers at you saying that you are the one who brought this in the, in the household. And then like, I, 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 I totally disagree with the fact that how come we as women to, to be treated like that, when whereby you need support structure from the one, from the people around you. Yes, as much. Um, <clears throat> this topic for today is very painful because uh, I don't think now at these days we still have to have those people that they have the stereotype uh, on on HIV and AIDS because it's something that we have been taught for a long time. Like even me, when I grow up, it's something that we have been taught about HIV and AIDS. And it's, it's very, very, very not understandable who would just say hey, you are the one who brought the, 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 the disease on the marriage instead of being supportive, instead of going there to the clinic and support your, your, your spouse and go to the clinic and then you test together and then from there you attend a group session with your spouse and then you, like that supporting structure, a person, it's, it's like a, a, a HIV, it's not like something that a person when you have an HIV is just going to die tomorrow or it's going to uh, like it's 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 very 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 uh, concerning in what is happening on our society. And a person can have um, a, a, a diabetes, and then that person, and then you pass on, and there will be no stereotype on a diabetes. But once the person will say no, this person is HIV and AIDS, and then everyone is like won't even want to have the person as if when you have the person and then that now you're gonna have an HIV, you'll be infected with an HIV, which is we have to, 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 to learn to support and and be there for our 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 people, especially the women because they are so vulnerable on this thing of HIV and AIDS. Yes, you you are right Akona. Instead of your husband to support you, he's the one who is putting too much pressure on you. And then one other thing what I've noticed is that our, my husband used to, he was too full of entitlement. When it comes to the part of us being intimate, intimate, he didn't want to use protection because he he thought or realized he's not the one who who's having HIV. And then for me, also he should have liked to 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 think for my for my world for my health because when you are when when you are put on the anti-retroviral anti-retroviral study that you must uh, you must adhere to 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 like being using protection keep medication because like the, it is not going to be any use when you are on retroviral and you don't practice safe and that. so he was the one who was supposed to support me but he didn't want to to use protection he was too full of entitlement you know the, I'm, I'm not just trying to be uh, a stereotype. Yes, there are so many stereotypes because he was he was too full of he, himself. So he's, because he's the head of the house, he I had to I had to submit. And as a woman, my work is to submit under him. So because he's, he doesn't want to use protection, no, I have to to to, to comply with with those 
long with those saying of, of, of him. I don't know why. So we ended up having so differences in our marriage because of I decided to, to keep myself to for him me and him we decided that we, we are now going to coexist because now I want us to, when we have to be intimate we have to use protection so now we decided oh, okay fine you're not submitting you don't want to give me what I want I'll just go out and look for someone who will satisfy who will satisfy me and you imagine because it's also under only only attribute uh, yeah, means, you know, mm-hmm. like that. Yes. Yes. Now is going out for, for, for looking for someone who is going to satisfy him instead of staying with you and support each other. And then now we're not even sure that he's going to, to disclose to that person that he's going to meet now. Mm-hmm. And then it can happen that he's just going to act as if normally and maybe he's going to stop even taking those uh, 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 medication when you met that person. Which is now you see there's also another woman that now is getting infected with one person one person is transferring now to the other woman and then that woman also will be the victim because that woman also didn't know that this person is having this uh, 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 condition and then you see it's 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 when it comes to a suppression of the woman yes it's, it's exactly. a suppression of yes. the woman he was suppressing you and then it, and then he went out and then again he suppressed that other woman even that woman also if that woman found out that now also it has the condition of hiv and then also if that woman also applied the condition that you were applying is also going to go again to another person yes, yes. you see now it's going he's the one who's a carrier and mostly what i i i, I hear is the carrier is is the one that is strong yes mostly of the time is strong and then can affect a lot and a lot and a lot of people and those people wanna they would go to clinic and then they would test and then they would come back and say no you know what i found this situation instead of sitting down and then we talk about the situation that we have at this moment and then we we, we make a means of moving forward in terms of protection because even if you're eating you taking the medication you also have to to, to, to comply with the with the, with, with it. Exactly. yes you have to comply with the safeness between the two of you you have to be safe so now we just left you mm. to oppress another woman yes and what i can tell you is that ladies you must be very very smart if there is no condom there is no sex and then if maybe you you, you are sexually active in in what in, in, you are like sexually active for you, if you had a boyfriend or a partner, for you to be intimate with the person, you must both get tested. If he doesn't want to get tested, you must uh, use protection. If there is no, no protection, no sex. No, no proof of, uh, the, of, of, the, of the test result, no sex. It's high time that we ladies we must stand up for ourselves because we are, um, we are enduring so much, you know, stereotypes, hardships, because of this other gender, they are they are like entitled as if they are like uh, owning us as women. So, if men of God out there, if you are listening or watching this month, if there is no protection or no proof of test result, no sex at all. Hmm. And uh, I think now it's it's high time we take care of ourselves. It is very important. And also, when you start a relationship, it's very important that maybe you discuss with your partner in terms of how are you going to 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 to, to, to intimate. And then, if you have maybe um, you have a vision, maybe one day you'll get married. I think it it is advisable that we go to our clinic or our doctors, and then we test, and then we have a, a status, and then we know each other's status before we can intimate without or without condom and also there are those uh, uh, tablets do you know about them uh, our, our smarts they say there are tablets now that you can take even if you were maybe you intimated with a person without um without yes. a condom so now they can you can you can be also it's like ARVs but not ARVs there are those tablets that you take maybe you slept with a person without a condom at 
yes, that yes. time and then now you go to the clinic and then mm. yes mm. but they can also get and find the information also yes. yes in the clinic but it's very important for us to have we go to the clinic and then we get more more clarity in terms of these ARVs and tablets that we now yeah, they are provide they are being provided in the clinic. And again, and one other thing is that we can still be in a lifetime relationship with someone who is H who is HIV positive mm -hmm. since the person is on medication and is practicing safe sex and is eating healthy, exercising consuming less of alcohol you know you can still be there and taking on your anti anti retrovirals are uh, the ARVs I normally <laughs> I normally laugh when it's time for me to take my anti retrovirals and I said oh this is the time for my drugs for my drug to help me beat this HIV and then and one other thing that I've told myself about it is that you know I can accept I said every morning when I wake up, I'll say to myself, listen you HIV, I've borrowed you my body. So you don't have to go around and mess with me. I want to enjoy my life. I want to enjoy my day with no distraction. So ladies and gents, HIV can be manageable as long as you know your HIV status and being on your medication, take practicing safe sex and then yeah. That's how it is. We can still live long. It's only God who define our destiny here on earth, not HIV. And it's like that. But you can still start the relationship with another person. I know it's not going to be easy somehow when you have to, to disclose, when you have a new relationship, now you meet this person, now you have to disclose that now I'm yes. HIV positive. Mm -hmm. But it's also need the person, it's also need the maturity of the person. When I have to disclose to the person that now I have this condition, and then the person will be like, yo, this one is going to... I cannot, it just need a, 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 um, it just need a maturity of a person. If you know that you cannot be involved with a person who is HIV and, and, and positive, you just, you don't have to go around and say this person, I cannot be involved with that person because that person is HIV. You no, know, you just have to be matured. Okay, lucky enough, this person loved me enough to tell me the deepest secret of, because it's not easy to disclose, just disclose to the person that you don't know. So, but yeah, in all in all, you still can, you can have life, mm -hmm. even if you have to, and then your partner can also take the prep, mm -hmm. and then you can, even when you want to have, um, if you want to have a plan for, for, for the children, mm -hmm. yes, you can also have, uh, if you have a children, yes. they ask not. Yes, and one other thing for, for you to be close to your part, to your part, your current part, you can take, the two of you can go to the health expert, those nurses at the clinic, they are trained for you to give you counseling, pre-counseling and then and the post-counseling. And even if that person is not uh, HIV positive, they have to go out there for those uh, to seek for help and then they will give you counseling. The two of you, yes. just, mm. just saying that. And they can also help you if you want to have children yes based on how to go around on those things yes on on having children they will put you on the uh, pmct prevention from mother to child transmission they'll put you on that on that program you know guys ladies, ladies and gentlemen hiv is no longer a death sentence it's no longer a death sentence guys Thank you for watching. See you next time. Please subscribe and comment. Um, we thank you for your time. Love you guys. You can subscribe and comment. We'll be waiting for you. Thank you so much.